there are a number of ways to get SVGs onto your website. The easiest way to get started is just by adding it to your website in a traditional image tag. For reference, I'll use an image from Unsplash. We use Unsplash all the time when we need stock photography for our projects. Basically, we'll just grab the image URL, paste it into an image tag. Adding an SVG is very much the same way. Here, we'll grab the cube as part of our logo and add it into an image tag. Also note that you can use responsive images using the picture tag in the same way. The picture tag has been around for a few years and is used when you want to show different images depending on screen width, height, etc. Here, I want to show a red cube if my frame height is at least 800 pixels. There are a couple of pros with this technique. First of all, it's probably the easiest to do and is most familiar for most people, since it uses the standard image tag. Second, the browser can cache your SVG if you load it in as an image, so that next time the user doesn't need to re-download it. The biggest con with the image tag is that you can't access any of the SVG elements from CSS or from JavaScript. With that being said, I would use this technique when I know the SVG isn't going to need to change after being loaded on the website. And there you have it. Next time we'll go over inlining SVGs into your HTML.